What is the current status with you and Brooklyn? It's my girl. Yeah, yeah, my little shit. It's my little shit. Please don't make me psych at you. Now, you have a variety of tattoos on your body. Are any of them in reference to her? Just this one right here. Oh, yeah. I still gotta get it finished. I don't know why, but this shit, this was my most painful tattoo. And I already, I already, she already got this done. But I don't know why this hurt it so bad. But yeah, this is her eyes. I just gotta get it shaded in. So out of all the tattoos on your body, the ones referencing her were the most painful. Yes. That shit feel like hell getting that bit done. <laughs> I ain't gonna care. Now, does she have matching tattoos or a tattoo of you on her as well? Mm -hmm. Now, can you explain how that even works? Is that something that one of you two initiates and the other person says, you know, I'm gonna get it too? Mm -hmm. Is that something you talk about? Hey, we should get this done. How does that work? It's something that's like randomly, randomly brought up as a joke for real. But like it got to the point where like we got serious about it. It's like why not for real? Let's just do it. Who brought up the joke first? I think she did. She kept saying tap my name, <laughs> tap her name for her birthday, tap her name this, tap her name that. So I was surprised and tatted her eyes because you can tell her eyes are amazing for real. And then what did she get on her body tattooed of you referencing? She had got my uh, real name, my real first name. And how soon does she get that done after you surprise her with that tattoo of, of her? Probably like, I think, probably like three days later, for real. Three, four days later. Now, is that something where she just knows the deal? Okay, you've got this tattoo finally of me after asking, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do what I'm going to do? Or uh, is this something you ask her, like, okay, now it's your turn? type of thing. It's something she wanted to do. I know she wanted to do it for so. For so. And did she surprise you with what she got or how soon she got it done? Yeah. I knew she was going to do it, of course. Like, yeah, I knew she was going to tell my name, but I didn't know she was going to do it that soon. So she surprised me as well. Now, what is she really like? She amazing, for real. Somebody you would ask for or somebody anybody would love to have, for real. So I looked up for sure. And are the titles between you two just as simple as girlfriend and boyfriend here, or has it gotten even further than that? Uh, we're about to get married. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not a girlfriend, though. So no engagement yet? Not yet. But just curious there. Now, do you remember how you two met for the very first time? Yeah. Can you take the audience back to that? Come with me. So boom, it was this pool party going on in Atlanta. My boy Bentley, he was having a fat ass pool party he was throwing. And I ain't go to sleep this night. Like I'm just chilling up on uh, TikTok live scrolling. It's probably like 3 a.m. in the morning. Like still dark outside, but morning time. I'm scrolling on live and I see her and she at the airport. She had the airport going to the pool party. Like she from Chicago, but she going from Chicago to Atlanta. And I'm already in Atlanta. So I see her at the airport, and I see she look good and shit, of course. So I'm thinking, I'm finna, you feel me? I'm finna, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. So boom, I got a uh, comment in there. Supporters was in there. They was like, KJ in here, KJ in here, KJ in here. She was like, who is KJ? Who is KJ? She already knew who KJ was. But I don't know, we just got to interact then. Uh, I follow her on Instagram. She followed me back. I got a text and her. We didn't think it was going to lead to this, for real, honestly. What it did. Shit crazy. And did you both attend that pool party? Yeah. And what were the vibes like between you two at that event? Man, shit. Amazing. I brought her, uh, I bought her a bottle or some shit. Like, she was like, before we ever met anything in person, she was like, KJ, can you do this for me and I cash up you the money? I was like, yes, I, I got it. Got her about her and shit. And then after that, she was just smooth the whole day for real. Did she end up cash apping you back? Yeah, she did. That's brutal for you, though. She always gonna feel like she gotta do something back. I can send her money for her food. Then 
wake up somewhere and she's sending the money back. But I'm just, I'm sending it back to her. So what are you doing? But not with that bottle at that particular moment. Yeah, not with that bottle. Shit. We want locked in out here and I. Now, was any of this caught on camera? Was any of this caught on lives? Was there YouTube footage of this? Was there a YouTube video done of this? The initial meetup of this pool party, for example. Uh, yes, we actually did get caught interacting with each other, being hugged up at the pool party. But not by your own doing. This was like fans or other people that yes. spotted you and... Fans, bro. Now, you've mentioned this in a variety of other portions of questions, but just for those tuning in just to this portion, care to share your screen names here on TikTok and IG and YouTube as well? Uh, my screen name? Yes. Uh, ASKKJ on all platforms. And, uh, no, ASKKJ on TikTok and uh, YouTube and 441KJ on Instagram and on Twitch. Now, when you two meet at this pool party, mm -hmm. was it love at first sight? Uh, I want to say love at first sight. I would say, like, the vibes were there for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Can you describe what the official first date was like? Our first date? Yes. Damn, let me see. We don't want to know so many dates. I got to go down and play that shit back. First date. The official first date, if you can recollect. I can't even remember. First day, I can't even remember. We don't do so many days. What about this in your memory bank? Who said I love you first? Uh, she did. And do you remember how she said it or where she said it? Yeah. We wasn't even dating at the moment or talking for real. We was like... Boom, me and Brooke talked at first, like, pool party, but went through an era where we were, like, fell fell back from each other. But we came back again during this show. So we wasn't, like, dating or anything, but we were just, like, cool, like, real good friends. So we had this little talk or whatever, and then she just, out of nowhere, she just ended up saying, I love you. And what show are you referencing here? Uh, friends with Benefits on Influencer City. Now, when it comes to this relationship, it's obviously public. Mm -hmm. You both post each other and things of that nature on social media and are spotted with one another. But for you, why go public in a relationship such as this? Because there are some public figures who are private about their relationships. Mm. I mean, why not? Shit, look at her, shit. We gotta show that off. <laughs> and, and, and is this your first public relationship ever? No, it's not my first. Well, yeah, you can say that. Might as well. Like, I ain't never post, like, girls on Instagram. I post it. Man, shit. I don't post it really everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And winding down the questions about her. What's the best advice you receive from her or most important thing you learned being around her so far? Uh, being around her, I don't learn. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things I can take from little Brooke. But I be having to teach her as well. Like, I can say, boom, from her perspective, her being bubbly, being all nice and stuff, I've learned that. Just keep being nice, like, I don't know. But I had to tell her that being nice always ain't the solution because people will take your kindness for a weakness. So everything that look good always ain't good. Cause they say salt look like sugar. So in that aspect, is that where you two balance each other out? Mm. For sure. Maybe her niceness has rubbed off on you to be a little bit nicer, but you also cap the niceness to a certain point so people don't take that as a, a weakness. Yeah. I feel like she getting more of like my advice for real. Like stop being so nice because she has been. It's on camera. It's on camera, like, certain situations that might be little is, like, I see the real. Like I told you before, I'm an observation. So when I see people treating Brooke a certain way, I show her this, and she rebuttal and be like, she knew herself, but she was just scared to say something. Or, like, because she's not confrontational at all. 
Now, when it comes to this public relationship of you two, is there a couples channel or a couples social media platform for both of you? Uh, no, nah, not at the moment. Probably coming soon, though, for sure. Anything else you want to mention about her or question you weren't asked, people want to know just about her as well or this relationship? Uh, I don't think so. They know everything pretty much.